So it's day two of the massive annual Snapdragon Summit where every year Qualcomm gets our nerd juices flown by revealing the sexy new tech that will be powering our Android mobiles in the coming year. The big news so far of course has been the unveiling of the fresh Snapdragon 865 platform which will come stuffed inside of tons of premium smartphones in 2020. This 7 nanometer flagship chipset boasts a slew of upgrades over the current Snapdragon 855 and 855 Plus and we're not just talking about better performance and battery life for your shiny new blower. The Snapdragon 865 platform will also bring incredible incredible new camera and gaming features to the mix as well. So let's take a proper full look at the ins and outs of the Snapdragon 865 platform and some of the best new features that you can expect to find on some of the biggest, shiniest smartphones of 2020. And don't forget for more on the latest, greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Performance and gaming. Now Qualcomm is rather unsurprisingly focusing rather heavily once again on artificial intelligence for its new SOCs. The Snapdragon 865 boasts the new 5th generation AI engine which apparently packs quite the performance boost over last year's effort. The 5th generation AI engine is capable of 15 trillion operations per second which frankly is too much to even begin to comprehend and that opens up a lot of doors for new smartphone features which I'll cover in a bit. Here on the Snapdragon 865 you get the new Cryo 585 CPU which sticks with the traditional octa-core design but you now get 25% faster performance and also a 25% increase in power efficiency as well. There's also the fresh new Adreno 650 GPU which serves up a 20% boost to the graphics rendering performance compared with the Adreno 640 found in current flagship smartphones. Now currently it's the case that GPU drivers can only be updated whenever there's an Android OS update but Qualcomm and Google have actually been working together to decouple that GPU entirely so now it can be updated just like a regular app. That means the performance can basically be updated at any point and new features can be thrown in there as well to support the very latest games and their snazzy new graphical effects. Plus a shiny new feature called Game Color Plus 2.0 can be used to actually upscale SDR gaming content to near HDR levels. And this is actually a smart process as well making full use of that artificial intelligence functionality on the Snapdragon 865. It's not just applying a simple filter. So for instance uh, hues like skin tones will be preserved in their natural form while the likes of the color and contrast in the environment will be enhanced just to make everything look that little bit prettier. You can also expect more hyper-realistic light and reflections and motion blur in your mobile games, but just don't spend so long ogling the shadow effects that you end up with a virtual axe buried in your bonds. Cameras. But one of the biggest updates to the Snapdragon 865 compared with predecessors is in the camera tech as well. You'll be able to capture some pretty cool stuff with your shiny new Android flagship phone in 2020. And that's all thanks to the snazzy new Spectra 480 ISP which works at a rather clever 2 gigapixels per second. Sounds very sexy indeed and it basically means that smartphone cameras will be packed with all kinds of great new features while existing features will also be improved. So right now for instance if you're shooting a video and you hit that photo capture button at the same time your phone isn't actually taking a fully fledged photo as well. All it's doing is nicking a frame from your video. So if you're recording at full HD resolution, for instance, you'll get a slightly grainy and possibly blurry 2 megapixel snap. What a bunch of arse biscuits. But thanks to the Spectra 480, your phone will be able to record 4K HDR video and simultaneously take proper photos at full resolution up to 64 megapixels. Bergora. And in fact, this superpowered ISP tops out at a frankly bonkers 200 megapixels for everyday photo capture. So you can expect the likes of Xiaomi's Mi Note 10, which tops out at a paltry 108 megapixels, to be outclassed rather soon. Of course, the question is, do we actually need that many megapixels on a smartphone camera? And it's quite good if you're going to be taking a photo and then cropping into a small section of it without compromising the detail levels. It's basically an alternative to a telephoto zoom lens on a camera for instance. Plus, it gives you pretty damn good bragging rights down the pub as well. As for the Snapdragon 865's video chops, well, this ISP upgrade will allow you to record up to 8K resolution footage. That is a huge jump over 4K, which captured each frame at the 8 megapixel level. With 8K, these images are boosted to a mighty 33 megapixels, so a massive increase in detail levels. And with the Snapdragon 865, you'll also be able to record your 4K resolution home movies at a rather whopping 120 frames per second. It makes the Pixel 4's paltry 30 FPS look rather meager in comparison and also it'll fully justify the use of 90 hertz or even 120 hertz displays on smartphones as well you'll be able to get that nice silky smooth finish when you're watching back your home movies. It's also good news for slow motion video fans as you can capture 4k footage running at quarter speed with the usual 30 FPS smoothness. Plus Qualcomm reckons that the Snapdragon 865 is good enough to shoot at 960 frames per second at a lower HD resolution with no limit. We're not talking just a quick second of 
footage here, so forget how to tap that super slow motion button at the exact moment you need it. And the Snapdragon 865's extra grunt means that the HDR chops have also improved as well. The current generation can handle the likes of HDR10, but the Snapdragon 865, your new blower will also be able to shoot Dolby Vision HDR video as well. And despite all these extra smarts, the new Spectra ISP also apparently consumes less power and generates less heat as well, so it's less of a drain on your smartphone's resources. Connectivity. Sorry, I don't know why I'm announcing all these sections with such a weird voice. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Now, crucially, the Snapdragon 865 chipset will not have a 5G modem actually integrated onto the platform itself. It will support it, of course, but it'll have to be added by the smartphone manufacturer in order to support 5G. And apparently the reason for this is that Qualcomm started designing this chipset three years ago, which is slightly terrifying. Just imagine how much the tech has changed in that small amount of time. And of course, Qualcomm has been a major advocate for Wi-Fi 6, which should be rolling out more extensively in 2020, so the Snapdragon 865 of course comes with full Wi-Fi 6 support, reaching theoretical speeds of up to 1.8 gigabits per second. Of course, that's in absolutely perfect peak conditions. Got a bit of 8x8 MIMO action in there, which is great news if you're trying to connect to a busy Wi-Fi network, which let's face it, they pretty much all all these days, even our home networks thanks to all those smart home guzzies. And of course, there's a bit of Bluetooth 5.1 support on there as well, with a bit of Aptex voice action too. And that right there, in a nutshell, is the new Snapdragon 865 Premium platform. Qualcomm reckons you'll start to see it packed into flagship Android smartphones from early 2020, basically by springtime, so it'd be great to get our hands on the first lot of 865 devices. Now I'll be at the Snapdragon Summit all week, so checking out the demos, talking with Qualcomm's partners, all that kind of shenanigans. Stay tuned for more videos on the latest tech that you can expect coming in 2020. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notification bell to be the first to see my face banging on about stuff again. Hooray!